right, everyone, it's a bit of a frigid day here today. You can see here we've got some hyperfreeze going on. Formed everywhere. I think we're looking at, oop, just popped to 15. By 10 a.m. it looks like we're still looking at 26 degrees. So at eight o'clock here, we're gonna pop this heater on and see what we can go from. We can go ahead and pop in. I got 90% on the battery. Hold for three seconds here. On, and now we're gonna do two full rotations into heater mode. Heater mode has been activated and indicated by this red light, air flowing from in there. That fan kicks on right there when the heater pops on and yeah you can see we've got the electronics in here the burn chamber which is sealed yeah and we're gonna let this thing kick on pump some heat out here it is just absolutely frozen even with a couple layers on it is just bitter cold so we'll let that thing heat up and uh, see what the temperature is gonna do for us in a few minutes check back in a bit all right, so we're working on nine o'clock here. We're gonna take a look at what the stove's doing. So, it's, it's nice and warm. Shut down these air. I'm gonna show you the sound and size of this exhaust. Right now you can hear it. Almost no sound on that heater zone. The fan is gonna be kicked on. Interior of the electrical system. Gonna walk on in. Still bitter cold outside as you can see. Roof is still pretty, pretty frozen. Hop on in, try not to lose all the heat as we climb on in. Oh yeah. So let's see what we got in here. 70 degrees almost. 940, so it's still still pretty darn cold. Uh, but yeah, inside here it's nice and warm. And you can see how this diesel heater in a matter of moments from 14 degrees, you're looking at 70 degrees. Battery dropped down to 89% from 90%. Cool features on the heater, the ability to dry gear out next to it. So as you can see, we've got uh, all of our hooks, with options to hang a carabiner through, whatever else you want to tie, hang up another vertical there, and then some hooks as well here you can hop into. For things like gloves, easily dry out the moisture. One of the other unique features on this heater is the type of heat it casts out. It being a diesel heat and a sealed combustion chamber, there are no fumes being emitted into the interior of the cabin. The other unique feature about this system is the intake is actually pulling from the interior of the cabin. So as I, you saw earlier, as I was breathing, it created that moisture. What this heater actually does is take that moisture run it in through the combustion chamber, and then it burns it off and exhausts it out the side here that has no window. Deals with a lot of the condensation. Uh, we've got really quite a big temperature difference outside. Right now, it's still 18 degrees outside, so super chilly. These panels we use are roughly R5 insulation value with multiple thermal breaks as well. It's really nice on a super cold day to be able to come in ditch the layers, keep them up off the ground. Uh, one of the other cool features, the doors, the curbside entry, and then at the rear, we also have a separate entry or exit for loading bigger items. The same panels used in this wall has the same insulative value as the rest of the unit here. Yeah, 70 degrees it is.